Beautiful Sagittarius, this is Tammy with Spot on Psychic Readings. Welcome to your weekly reading. I'm running a little bit behind because that eclipse energy really um, did a number on me <laughs> and a family member. And um, I have managed to pull my back completely out of whack. I haven't been able to hardly even walk for the last couple of days. And um, a family member has been in the hospitals so running a little bit late. Anyway, thank you for being here. I'm going to give Chippy his cookie. He's been waiting patiently so he can have his cookie and take a nap. <laughs> All right, so as usual, um, Sag, I am going to pull light worker cards first. Light worker, empath, star seeds. See what's coming up for you all and pulling these by feel. Thank you all for being here. Appreciate you guys so much. And after we do these cards, then I'll go over and look at your earth life and we'll do the regular tarot cards. So we want to see what's coming. You know, Sagittarius is very multidimensional, so I like to look at all the dimensions for you. And I've got the goosebumps tuning into you. So here we go. Sag, I can't wait to see what these cards say. How'd you all do with that eclipse energy? I hope you did better than I did with it. Whew, it was rough. <laughs> Last week was a rough, rough week for me and those close to me. I'm just glad my dogs are okay. <laughs> okay, that's all of them. All right, Sagittarius, let's see what's coming here. All right. Let's rearrange a little bit. There we go. Okay, here we go. Oh, wow. The first thing I've got here is the Council of Light <laughs> for you, okay? And I bet a lot of you are really connected to the Council of Light. This is about divine orchestration. This is like how things, how things come together for you, Sag. You've got helpers in the subtle realms. I know you feel that. I know I feel that. You know, I'm Sagittarius too, so... Um, I really understand the multidimensionality and these helpers in the realms because you can feel them. You know, they help. They do. They do everything they can to send us good energy. We are divinely protected, <laughs> even though sometimes we don't feel like it. Um, so this is your crossing card this week. This is the play card. Are you having a hard time having fun and playing, Sag? Don't be so serious, okay? This is about have fun, celebrate, and don't be so serious, okay? And remember the last couple of readings, the celebration and confetti cards are coming up. So I'm still waiting on my celebration. I, I know for sure, for me, it didn't happen yet. <laughs> it didn't happen last week. I'm hoping it's coming up this week. So please let me know in the comments if your thing to celebrate has happened. This is a crossing card the play card um, but it's like I think it's coming up as a crossing card because the celebration hasn't happened yet and it did come up like it was in your future but it still it hasn't quite happened yet okay it's coming it's coming it's still here um, here's what's in your aura pillar of light this is in your aura this week Sag uh, this is your vibration is rising you are the Oracle Okay, so people are listening to you, Satch. You have wisdom to speak. You have wisdom to speak. So speak your truth. Um, here we've got Pleiades energy. This also in your energy at this time. You have a double mission. <laughs> yes, you do, Satch. This is why I do these readings for you like this. We do we look at the double mission. Right now we're looking at the double the mission of your star seed. Um, beingness or whatever you want to call it then we're gonna look at your earth um, beingness okay this is about channeling and uplifting humanity this is part of your mission for being here okay I love that that gives me the goosebumps okay moving into your past trust your path ah okay because you are trusting your path so this is why this card is moving into the past um, if you knew you would be supported, what would you do? There's the million dollar question, right? If you knew you'd be supported, what would you do? And I think a lot of you are doing it. That's why this is moving into the past. It's like, yeah, 
doing it. <laughs> I'm on it, right? And I know a lot of you are in unusual um, careers, unusual for most people, you know, because you're doing things like Reiki and sound therapy and um, animal communication and, you know, tarot readings and uh, all the really unusual um, things because you're uplifting humanity. You're bringing your light. That's what you do as a light worker. Here's your immediate future. Let's see what it says. Your immediate future is the card that says no. Hmm. Uh, this is wait, postpone, pause, say no. There's lightning on this mountain. Wow. Wow. We're going to have to clarify this one. That's really interesting. Hmm. Wait, postpone, pause, say no. In your immediate future, there's something you're going to need to say no to. What's your more extended future? Say yes. Oh, I cannot believe this, you guys. This is so weird. So your immediate future is say no. Your more extended future is say yes. So whatever it is that's coming up, you're going to need to pause. Don't do it yet. What, this, what they're saying, this is crazy. I've never had this happen before in a reading. This is so clear. Don't say yes yet, but then say yes. More extended. So the timing on this, because I read for you guys weekly, this no card could be today when you see this. This could be this week. The more extended future when it's okay to say yes to it and go ahead with it is more like two weeks to a month. All right. Uh, I'm going to really want to clarify that. Okay. Other people are seeing you as a mirror. <laughs> of course they are because you're a mirror. Um, I've said this numerous times about you, Sag. Who or what is triggering you? I would say in a lot of cases, you're triggering them because you're a mirror. Because the thing with Sagittarius and being an empath and a light worker and all those things, you know, when people don't heal their stuff and then they come and they talk to you, they're drawn to you because you're a healer, but then they don't want to hear it. <laughs> they don't want to see it. And when they look at you, it's like you're reflecting who they really are back to them because you act as a spiritual mirror. Here's the mirror card. It triggers people, you know, and yeah, it may be triggering for you too, but I know for sure you trigger people, you know, it's why Sagittarius is sometimes not well liked as a general thing. You know, you're not for everybody because if you're not around people um, who are doing their work, if people aren't doing their healing work, their inner work, their spiritual work, and you are, it's really in their faces. You know, it's just, it's just how it goes. So there it is. That's how people perceive you as a mirror. So if you're having, if you're butting heads with people sometimes or in groups, there's one group I can think of that I am unfortunately <laughs> always part of, drawn into, but as an outlier kind of, you know. Um, and this group is very not evolved. And I guess that's why I'm drawn into it and I'm not well liked there. I'll just tell you, I mean, they don't know I'm a psychic and stuff. Um, some of them do, but most don't. And I'm, I'm not well liked there. And I, <clears throat> this is when I learned about this whole mirror effect is because I, I realized one day when I was doing a reading for somebody else, you know how this goes, because there's a lot of psychics here, so you know how that goes. But I was doing a reading for somebody else one day and I saw them triggering somebody and I went, oh, everything clicked. I was like, that's what happens with that group because they're not doing their work and they're really off kilter on things. And I trigger them. I trigger them just walking in the building. So there you go. You may be in a group like that too. And I've often said, why am I in this group? And I've known before, but in this very moment of telling you this, I understand it even more. And I hope it's, hope, hope it's helping you understand situations that you might be in like that too that you're in that group that you don't fit into that you're quite removed from even though you're still drawn into it and you sort of have to be there <laughs> um, because you're the person there to wake them up they don't really want to wake up they just think you're a bother right <laughs> they think you're weird they think you're difficult um, a lot of people don't like people who seek the truth speak the truth um, 
things like that. It's an issue, you know, and Sagittarius won't do anything but speak the truth. We can't help it. So there you go. Mirrors. We're mirrors, you guys. All right, let's keep going here. Sag, um, this is hopes and fears, okay? Unbound, releasing soul patterns, contracts, and past lives. Goodbye, past lives. <laughs> Be gone, past lives. Yeah, this is your hopes and fears. It's like you want to do that, and at the same time, you're a little scared to release it because it brings stuff up. Um, but you know, you have your Council of Light helping you. They're what's most significant this week. So, you know, in Mercury retrograde, your past lives really may be coming up and triggering you. And you may be triggering other people because of past lives too. So um, ask your beings of light to support you and help you with that, okay? Because Mercury retrograde, you know, brings stuff up. So your final outcome this week is, oh, this is great. <laughs> This is so great. Okay, I just said this. Um, don't dim your light to fit in. How are you dimming your light to fit in? You're probably not dimming your light. You're Sagittarius. This is the fitting, not fitting in card with people you're mirroring. This is the group thing I was talking about. Because you're not dimming your light to fit in with these people you're triggering and mirroring their stuff back to them. Their unhealed stuff. You're not dimming your light. This is your final outcome. Don't dim it. Keep shining your light, Sagittarius. Let's ask, um, let me go over here to the regular cards for a sec. Let's ask why the no and yes cards. That's, that's a mystery. I think the rest of this was pretty straightforward. I think this is going to come in, you know, even though these are light worker empath cards, this says to me this is happening on the earth plane, uh, on the 3D, which I hope is 5D soon. <laughs> come on 5D, right? Let's see. Wait, postpone, and say no. Oh, because of the sun? Look at that. You know, this makes me think because of solar flares and stuff. Huh. <laughs> That's interesting. Let's see. What else? I've got goosebumps. This. That's what it is. It's because of... Um, there may be solar flares. I, I haven't looked recently. I haven't heard anything about it, but you know, they're really on the rise. So, oh, there's going to be decisions to make. Look at this lover's card. What else? Why, why say no? Why postpone? Pause, wait, postpone, say no. Oh, because there's somebody sneaky. Look at the seven of swords energy. And that's from a the wrong deck even. There, it's coming out. Let's see what else. I mean, not the wrong deck, different deck. <laughs> Somehow it, this card snuck in. It snuck in because it's a sneaky Seven of Swords card. Um, and that's why you should say no, because there's going to be some kind of thing that's sneaky, like a fox. There's a fox on this card, okay? Huh. Okay, so there's something here about a new love offer, guys, and you may need to say no to it. And then I'm going to ask what you, when, you, when you say yes, okay? In your immediate future, there might be a new love offer. Um, here's the lovers, and here's Knight of Cups. That's his love offer. And there's something about solar flares. There's something about sun influence here. This, for some of you, could be saying no, like if you're on a vacation, for instance, and you meet somebody, um, watch out for that. Could be a sneaky seven of swords, somebody who's a thief. Let's ask why then the yes card comes later, like by the end of the month. That's good to know. That's good to know. Because, you know, last night I had a dream. I've been thinking about it all day long. I had a dream that I met someone and I was really excited about it in the dream. I was even excited about it when I woke up. And then I remembered that that person had the exact same name as an ex of mine. <laughs> it's like, could it be any more blatant that it was a definite no? <laughs> so there you go. Watch out for that sort of thing. All right. Why yes later on? Why yes later on? Oh, Five of Cups. Hmm. Some kind of betrayal. 
some kind of betrayal why yes now I'm confused let's see Lovers reversed. That's not looking like a yes to me. Are they still talking about the no? And here's the star. Also, um, I mixed up the cards. Wrong deck. Two of Wands. Waiting for ships to come in. New opportunities. And we've got nine of wands. So I feel like you're supposed to say no because if um, to somebody who's betrayed you, I feel like they're still talking about the no card. I can't imagine yes would be a betrayal. And yes would be this upside down lover's card. Okay, I think they're still talking about say no to this. You know, if this person tries to come back in. I think that's why they gave me an ex's name because you know for you guys somebody might be trying to come back in okay um, your ex for instance say no to that there was a betrayal there it was a bad decision etc etc okay now the yes goes to there's new opportunities here it is new opportunities waiting for your ships to come in and also um, strength and reserve almost like you might be feeling overwhelmed at this time but why say yes later? What are you saying yes to? New opportunities for one thing. You may be saying yes to a queen of wands. Some of you, okay? This could also be you being a queen of wands or it could be a king of wands. That's a stretch because usually the cards are right on target with that. The queen of wands, you know, can be Sagittarius, um, Aries, Leo, you know, fire energy. Here's the star again. This is twice the stars come up, you guys. There's something here about saying yes because there's going to be divine guidance and divine intervention and success and happiness. Also, maybe Aquarius energy. Okay. Let's see what else. What are you supposed to say yes to? I'm curious about this. And then we'll go on to your 3D life. I think we're in your 3D life actually right now. Yeah, there's something about doing some healing work. So I feel like for some of you, saying yes to something will complete some sort of healing for you, bringing things together. Maybe you're taking, maybe you can't say yes to anything yet. You're supposed to wait on that because you're, you're needing to take some time for yourself, okay? Yeah, because you've been stuck in a really oppress oppressive situation before. Where this betrayal happened and here's a king of cups there's a king of cups coming in so you don't want to um there's a there's also the there's a sorry getting ahead of myself there's a queen of wands with this yes card and there's also a king of cups okay and king of cups is both of these actually wonderful characters you know great um, traits and things like that most of you here probably know the cards and as Sagittarius there's a lot of um, psychics here but this king of cups is having to do with somebody who's a good listener somebody who likes you know the arts and things like that as opposed to sports and they're very heart centered and king the queen of wands is very passionate and very fiery and very determined and she's kind of the superwoman she does everything <laughs> okay so these two could be a couple you know one of these could be you or um, you're gonna meet one of these coming up. I wanted to say as a side note, I found this card really interesting, this five of cups that came up to clarify the no card. I wanna show you this. He's standing on shore, you see the bridge behind him? This is a betrayal card and he's holding a heart necklace like he's gonna throw the heart into the ocean. Recently, I just re-watched the Titanic movie and you know she throws her heart necklace um, into the ocean back to the titanic because she didn't want it she didn't want that you know and there it was a betrayal and all of that but that bridge really makes me think about the baltimore bridge and how something about a betrayal something about lies losses um, sadness 
things like that. I don't, I don't know why I'm bringing this up except that I think it affects some of you in some way. All of that, Titanic, the whole thing. And there was something about that bridge that also made me watch the Titanic movie again last week. It was all connected in some way, probably the big ship and all of that stuff, but it did make me think a lot about betrayals, you know, because the Titanic story, you know, is all about different betrayals and lies and all kinds of crazy stuff, you know. Um, that's really significant, you guys, with the note card. So there may be, there may also be something coming up. You need to say no to going somewhere because something similar may be happening. Because this is really clear. Say no, wait, pause, no, no, in your immediate future. So just be aware of your surroundings. I'll just say that too, because really this bridge is catching my attention big time here. And the storm around him and all of that. Some of you will get more from that because like I said, I know I'm talking to psychics. So there you go. Vibe into this, okay? It's really important. Okay, so let's start anew here. Let's go over um, really quickly and let's look into your earth life, your 3D life really quick, Sag. Let's get a quick peek into that and see what's coming. What's coming? I love reading for you guys. I feel like I'm just sitting down with a group of friends here and just having a psychic conversation, which is the best. Um, here's Nine of Pentacles. How sad. Nine of Pentacles is self-sufficiency and loving where you live and in the lap of luxury and, you know, you have plenty of money, things are going well. Here, whoops, here's the Fool card right next to the Three of Cups celebration card. So there's something here about a new path um, leading some of you to something you're going to be celebrating some kind of a love celebration potentially for some of you, okay? Some of you are walking away from something. Uh, this is the Eight of Cups. In a month's time, even, you might be deciding to say goodbye to something because you're very self-sufficient and love didn't go the way you wanted it to. Here's the Ace of Cups. So for some of you, some something may have started and then just didn't... Um, work out so it didn't go quite the way you wanted it to so you're going to say goodbye to it wow Sag. <laughs> and whatever you're saying goodbye to brings you straight into ten of pentacles ten of pentacles so you've got nine and ten of pentacles here you know and Sagittarius can be um, very independent so I you know, I, this isn't very much an independence card. With this Nine of Pentacles, she's usually by herself, but really happy. <laughs> and here's Ten of Pentacles. This is, this is where you're headed on this new path. So whatever you've said goodbye to that wasn't working for you was just holding you back. And it's bringing in a lot of financial stability for you, Sag. A lot of success. It's going to happen really quickly. Here's the Knight of Swords. This is coming in fast. This is coming in really fast. And yeah, you're the queen of swords right now. So some of you might be getting into a relationship. It looks more like that relationship might be somebody like a love offer that is too good to be true. So watch out for narcissists, okay? And a lot of you are just in this queen of swords energy, very mental, very peaceful. She's got doves all around her, white doves of peace. And you're doing a lot of meditation, a lot of mental work, and not, not so connected with your heart right now. You'd rather be in your intellect and doing your own thing and being very single and very happy about that, <laughs> okay? So, um, but having a lot of money, having your Ten of Pentacles, Sag. I'll pull one more and leave you with that final word for Sag. I think this has been such a great reading for you guys. You know, you all, um, enlightened Sagittarius which are here on my channel you guys are on a whole other level I mean I know you feel that and um, you really are you're getting free from something here's the final word hanged man 
reversed, came up, Sag. So you are totally letting yourself free of something. A lot of you are getting free from something uh, this coming week, okay? So there you go, <laughs> all right? Um, thank you, Sagittarius Tribe. You guys are wonderful. I appreciate each and every one of your comments. I can't always reply to every one of them, but I appreciate them, I read them. And um, you all leave the most interesting comments of any of the signs I read for, I'll just tell you. Um, you know, you guys really, you have that mental, spiritual kind of um, bigger picture thinking, you know, like you really see the bigger picture, you really see depth, and you really understand this stuff. So, so glad to have you here. Have a great night. Okay, bye.